Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Tuj right behind me. Breach of human rights, being locked in their accommodation, all the way down to racism and sexism. It's the University of Manchester protest. We're going to be listening to what they have to say, chat to some students about their struggles. Make sure you stay tuned. We're here because Nancy should get the fuck out. My nan runs better than the uni. <laughs> Why are we here? Because the fucking uni keeps fucking us. This is the same uni management that erected fences to cage us in and ignored our cries for justice. Oh, we, we got a uh, fuck UOM here. Um, someone kindly gifted it to me. I don't quite know where it came from, but I'm holding up proudly. <laughs> I don't know what quite to say. It's, it speaks so many words. What does it, what does it mean for you? Uh, we were we were writing up this morning. We were thinking of what we could do on our on our on our poster, and we thought words words can't really speak. So so this is what we came up with. It's it's the senior leadership of the University of Manchester are doing this shit, and they just keep fucking failing us. Universities across the country are being run like businesses. Nancy Rothwell earns no, she steals two hundred and sixty thousand pounds whilst threatening lower paid staff with redundancies and voluntary severances. We stand in full solidarity with staff. There's just so much that's wrong about how the, the university conducts itself, how uh, the state um, the state rea reacts to what's happening here. In the in the end, it's just a general outrage, and something has to be done about it. Nancy lied about sending police to Fallowfield campus to enter our homes illegally and find students. Nancy lied on national TV about apologising to a student who was racially profiled just metres away from his front door. And she lied about meeting with the occupiers and the students' union executives. There's a whole series of systemic racism, misogyny, and general lack of accountability that's going on. We need to kill the bill. We need to stand up with our friends, our brothers, our sisters, and everyone out there experiencing this kind of mal-being. The Nancy Out campaign won an all-student referendum with 89.3% of the vote claiming to have no confidence in our senior leadership. Our university has made millions, millions from the arms trade through its disgusting links to the Israeli government's continuing apartheid in Palestine. Tari, tari, tari! Stop, stop, stop! For someone who didn't go to this university, I thought this was more about the lack of support through the pandemic. It feels like it's a lot more deep-rooted than that. The uni isn't supporting anyone, be it through racial profiling, the, the, the flooding of accommodation, the police presence in our campuses. The mental health implications led to soaring rates of depression, loneliness and anxiety. And let's not forget the uni's callously indifferent response when a student died, when Finn Kitson died alone in his halls. Personally, I think it's just everyone's mental health is declined and I don't know what support I would have needed from the uni, but I know that there's thousands of people that work, trying to work out what people need and nobody ever got in touch with us. I had COVID isolation that was really difficult for everybody and nobody was ever supported from the uni at all. No food even, like, I couldn't go to the shops. Basic things that I pay nine grand a year as a student and I didn't see any support. They're basically making us pay for a, for a process that we're not really getting the full experience of. This whole year, I went to uni once once which i'm pissed about didn't meet anyone from my course i've been pretty sad in my flat we're paying 6k for this year for basically nothing we're getting our rooms that's it usually there's a common room there's there's a lot of facilities in our accommodation that we don't really get to use this year yeah. so so we, they've given us a little bit back they've given yeah. us a small percentage of our of our rent back but it's it's, okay. it's obviously not well, students being forced to pay increased rents than previous years for fewer facilities increased rents for halls with floodings rodent infestations broken appliances a lack of heating and wi-fi all to force us to pay for their six-figure salaries we've all heard like from like teachers and things like uni is meant to be the best time of your life it's been shit like it's been actually terrible and like of course i made friends and like people are so nice but I have not had a good uni experience. You've just been shoved in like hamster cage and said, crack on, and it is wrong. Do you understand though, because of the pandemic, some of them things weren't possible? Yeah, I do, I do, because social distancing obviously was a real thing. We had to, we had to do it, but if they're going to make us social distance to that extent in our own accommodation where we're paying to live, 
then they need to they can't be charging us the same amount it's not the same service that they're providing if that's their issue covid and social distancing they gotta make sure that we have we live in a building of 500 people there are six washing machines for 500 people that's not clean that when there's fire alarms the reason i got covid earlier this year because there was a fire alarm they made everyone even the people isolate and come outside and stand in a very small area they don't have compulsory face masks they don't like face masks rules. they don't have hand sanitizer everywhere so if they think we need to stay clean in our own flats they need to keep the building regulated they only give a shit for their money and what little is left of their reputation our students union general exec Kwame Kwarton, who got in last year on rigged election, has been repeatedly sexist to female members of this group, reducing one to tears and refusing to apologise when she sent him a politely worded email expressing her heart and outrage. From our survey, 78% experienced unwanted sexual behaviour and with 7% unsure. This is why one of our demands is compulsory consent classes and active bystander intervention training. The Tories are pushing through a bill that if passed will see the police gain even more powers. Yes, the same police as university calls onto campus to patrol and terrorise students playing Monopoly. The same police who find a mental health nurse protesting her pay £10,000. And the same police who are eight times more likely to stop and search a black person and consistently act with impunity and are above the law. Do you know much about it yourself, the Kill the Bill? Can you try and explain it to some of the people who may be listening right now? In every single way. Um, it affects people living um, not only on the streets, but um, our right as students and as citizens to protest. If this bill passes, you could face 10 years in prison for vandalising a statue, but only four for rape. Protest is clearly one of the most important things for a democracy and for a healthy society and for equality and for fighting oppression. What many of you may not know is the senior management are actually currently trying to deny that there are police patrols on campus. They're trying to deny they're actively encouraging inviting Greater Manchester Police onto our streets, around our homes, inviting an institution that for decades and centuries been literally lethal to people like you and me, people of colour, the LGBTQ community, minorities, basically anyone that the police don't like the look of. Do you think it's a good idea? No! Do you think it's a good idea? No! The police are getting more and more violent every week. A couple of weeks ago, they brought Glocks actual fucking guns to a protest full of young people young people protesting the bill they brought guns they brought guns so we have to resist this with absolutely everything we have and the way we do that isn't by asking nicely if you hate the gmp then clap your hands if you hate the gmp then clap your hands if you hate the gmp hate the gmp Hey, the GMP, clap your hands! Nah, we're on a youth station, bro. We can't do that. I've done my 5K for this week. Obviously, this all started from like one person, and now it's hundreds of students here today. What would you say to the people at home who maybe think their voice doesn't matter? It does. Please speak up. Use your democratic right to protest they can't silence us we will get this done we will fix everything you just stand up help your brothers and sisters out just please just do something nothing is too small please 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 carry on showing up keep making a nuisance like keep blocking the streets keep making like having social outcries because at the end of the day we're students I'd, like i don't have that much power like no one here has that much power to do anything. We're not like senior leadership. So again, more votes, more social movements, and yeah, mobilisation. The only way you can find out about shit like this is if you're is if you're a student and you're active in in the student communities. Even half the students won't know about stuff like this. So I'd say the best way to get to get to know things like this is just to get on Instagram, follow UOM Rent Strike. That's where all these protests have been talked about. That's that's why I found this. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Social media is the way. Definitely the UOM rent, rent strike page. Um, all the social medias that have been mentioned tonight, I reckon they're great places to start and you can do your independent research easily. UOM rent strike, resist rape culture. On, honestly, on um, spreading the message, whether it be on, on Instagram, telling friends, everything that just get, gets the message out there, that people are still out here. I feel like I'm in Rio. What is it that you want? To treat us like we're people, not just, not just a way to get money for them. Justice for everyone. 
I want my fucking money back. You want your money back? I want my fucking money back. Simple as. So, for the senior leadership, if you could say you want one thing right now, what would it be? Fuck you, Nancy. Hell yeah, thank you so much, mate. Damn. If you're a first year in halls, keep rent striking. This is not over. And although we've had to end this occupation, there are bigger escalations coming. Escalations that will threaten the very structure of these neoliberal universities. Join the chats, follow our socials, and don't pay your rent. Well, there you have it, guys. We marched with the students. We chat to some of them about what's going on. My personal advice, make sure that you guys do go home and do do your research about what's going on. And thank you once again for staying tuned. I've been your boy Tuj. Make sure you follow at PyroDK on all the social medias and like, comment, subscribe to the video. See you next time.